So today we are going to be making a dream catcher and mine looks like this. Um, so what you're going to need for this project is you're going to need a paper plate, you're going to need paper, string, um, you're going to need some of your beads, a glue stick, um, and whatever you're going to color it with. So you can use markers or crayons or paint. Um, I did use paint for this one, um, but I did one previously um, on a different type of plate and that I used um, crayons for. So whatever you feel like using on it is fine. Um, so the first thing that you are going to do is you're going to set it up. So you're going to take your plate and there's a circle right here in the middle. You're going to cut that circle out. So I'm just going to cut mine out real quick. Just like that. Um, and then I'm going to poke a couple of holes in mine because I find it easier to poke them in now than later. So I have three holes at the bottom that I hang my feathers on. And then at the top I have two holes and that's my strap to hang it up. So I'm going to just use a sharp pencil and poke my holes in. Your top holes, you're going to want closer to the top of it because that's going to be the hanging. And then I have three holes poked at the bottom. Um, the next thing that I did is I attached the middle section. So this middle is it's actually just construction paper. So all you have to do is cut out strips of construction paper. Um, and then you're going to flip your paper over. I'm going to move my camera so you can see just like this. And you're going to use a glue stick to glue to the paper. And there really isn't a rhyme or reason to the way that I glued mine. They're just kind of all over the place. And um, crisscrossing. And the reason I'm gluing it first is because I actually painted my construction paper. Um, you guys can, you don't have to, it's completely up to you and how you want to decorate it. If your paper's too long, just cut off the extra. And then once your paper is glue, you're glued, you're going to flip it over. I'm going to glue a couple more on here. So this is what it looks like. Um, so the next thing you're going to do is you're going to decorate your plate. So you can use, um, like I said, you can use um, crayons, markers, or paint, whatever you want to do. Um, if your paper starts to fall off, you can just reattach it later. I did not paint the back of mine. I left that. Um, I just did the front of it. Um, so once you have painted it and it's fully decorated, the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to get your feathers ready. So this is just an example, but here is a feather and I do need a couple of beads to attach to it. And then my string. So all I did was I took my string and I put my beads on. Just like that. 
and then um, A little tricky getting the beads on this thing just like that um and then i just tied uh, a little loop so that my beads stayed where i wanted them oh, my loop is not big enough there we go and now my beads are on there and then I just tie my feather on. Now, if you have like super glue, or not super glue, if you have a hot glue gun, you could use that and just glue it on there. Or if you wanted to use like Elmer's glue um, and just kind of wait, you could do that too. But I just tied it on. And then I fold it tight. And so, and then I put my beads over top of the top of the feather, just like that. And so this is what my feather and bead looks like. And then you just have to attach it to your already decorated plate. So the holes at the bottom, the three holes, that's what, um, what I use to put my feathers on. And I just pushed it through the hole and then I flip it over and I tie it on. So this is, and any extra you might have, you can either tuck it in or cut it off. But that's what it looks like with the um, feather attached to the bottom. And you're going to do the same thing for the other two holes. You're going to attach a feather with beads in a string. And then at the very top, you're going to get another piece of string. And you're just going to poke it through the hole. Um, I went through the front of mine and then tied a knot in the back. Just like that, and then I'm gonna poke it through the other side, through the front. So um, the reason I didn't decorate mine um, for this video is just because to save time. And then the other thing is because it, um, it would be all painted when I go to poke it through. So I wouldn't be able to show you that part. So this is what this looks like. Um, those are all of the steps. So just um, when you're all done, it should look something like this. You can paint rainbow colors. You can do whatever you want. I painted these on the inside. Um, when I did that, I actually laid a piece of construction paper down and then painted over top of it. But you can do it however you'd like. And then when you're all done, you just hang your dream catcher up. So I hope you enjoy this one. Um, can't wait to see your videos and talk to you soon. Bye.